Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'll be talking about the new market matchups investments that let's go around to. So um as as you can see I have six pack in the store. What what I'm trying to do is pretty much just stock up on loads of Liga uh, BVA premium packs. So the fact is Team New Year is coming up. I have been, I've packed every single special card uh ever during FIFA apart from a team year i've never packed team year in any fifa before so that's why i'm going to invest in it so the first game is between arsenal and chelsea and i did make a really big mistake during this because i didn't invest in chelsea players first at the end of the video you will be able to see me picking up a couple of chelsea players so you go and pick up a couple of these arsenal players like i always do I always invest in 10 from each club so you go and pick up 10 arsenal players and 10 chelsea players Annoyingly, I keep to keep keep on clicking a sign all now and again when I shouldn't be doing that. So that is something that is slightly annoying me at the moment, but it it, it will go away uh, soon or later. So we go and send a cut all these Elena's to the trade pile like that, and then we go up to six fifty, get a couple more um, to make that ten thing solid. And like I said, like I said before, you will see me picking up Chelsea players later, but just not now. So Chelsea and Arsenal is the first game to go and invest in. Definitely recommend you go in it. The one thing that may not make this SPC is in, this game is ha going on on a Wednesday. But the reason why I think it's still going to come in is because marquee matchups are always held on Tuesdays. But the way they look at it is only using games on Saturdays and Sundays, which is what they've been doing so far. But still, I reckon the game could be in it. The next one is between Sylvia, Sevilla and Betis. This game is a very important game during the BBA. Both teams, are, I think they're both doing quite well. And they're, um, but this is a derby and both of the teams are doing like, really well. I just had a look at the league. And they are very, very close together. This game is very important and most definitely will be in the SPC. So I'm investing in these two teams as well. So we've got a couple of... Severe players like this is so and then you want to go to 600 650 and going to pick up a couple of these cards as well uh, so Nelito obviously there but I haven't actually got in the club yet always try and get as many players like in your club on the beard on the trade on the trade bolt if it's a silver if the t club has silver players I recommend you getting them on bid, so the fact is you can get it a little bit cheaper. And, and then obviously when you do one club, you want to do the other, which is Rabatis. And these players are very, very cheap at the moment, so I recommend you quickly go in and buy these players, because they are just dirt cheap, really, really cheap. You can get 450 coins each, very, very cheap, and... Like, honestly, you're not risking any coins, it's just face it, you're going to get your coins back anyway, and just this this team is very likely to get in the SPC, so you go out to, I went up to 500 as well and just picked up loads and loads of Rabatis cards, uh, 10 in total, obviously, but like I said before, always copy what I'm doing, invest in these games, because you, will, you just will make coins, it's as simple as that. So you get a couple more Rabatis players, and you know, it's just very, very, very easy trading and investing in market matchups. You can do it every week. Annoyingly, today I saw Chelsea won 5 0, but Morata didn't score a goal, meaning I had them going to lose a little bit of coins and throw about 2 or 3k, but it's a bit annoying that he didn't score because his pr price did actually go up after I bought him to about an extra 20k. Anyway, the next game is between Benfica and Sporting. Benfica players are going for about 600 coins each. I picked these cards up. 605.50 and then I went up to 650. So we're going to sign them all and add them to my club and trade bar. Then we go to 700 coins. I mean 650 coins, sorry. And we're going to pick up these cards as well. Look, for instance, I clicked to sign all when I didn't want to. It, I've been doing that quite a while now. It is very, very annoying. We're going to pick these up for 650 coins each. As so. Add them all to the tree pile of the club. I mean, tree pile, sorry. 
Crossing when you do one club, you do the other one. Sporting, and then I could have picked that up for four hundred coins, but I just I just CBA'd. No, no, any note. The sporting players are a little bit expensive than I thought. They're about nine hundred coins each. Bear in mind, you need uh, eleven rare players in a lot of SPCs, like the eighty-one double SPC, the Lega BBA, and all that SPCs. No, so you know. You know, you're going to need these players quite a lot. So you can invest in these players as well still, though, because their prices will almost double, uh, I would say, double in price uh, if you need these players during SBC. So invest in sporting and win beef players, no matter what the prices are. So I picked up a couple here, and got this Martinez. Look very lucky for some reference. Should have really picked up that Reese card because I could easily make profit on that as well on no risk card if you know what I mean. But still, just get. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So get 10 sporting players and 10 Benfica players. The next thing that you want to do is go to Newcastle Jets. Because they pretty much are playing two derby games in one week. It's hard to explain. But you just want to go to Newcastle Jets and invest in just these players. Because you want to invest in pretty much they're playing against Sydney and I think Co the Coast team. I'm not sure how you explain how you say it. But you pretty much want to go and get these Newcastle Jets players. No matter the price, I think about 900 coins each to silver cards. And then you want to go and put... Bids in very, very cheaply, about 650 coins, 600 coins each, very easily, indeed. And you, honestly, you can make tons and tons of coins. It, ri ridiculous amount of coins. It's very, very easy to make coins during this. And honestly, if this SPC is needed, say like Sydney versus Jets or, or Coast versus Jets, these players will go up to 10k and I, I promise you they will. So definitely invest in this game because honestly you could make tons and tons of coins. They can see in the background just bidding on them for 600 coins each and hope I, and this guy as well. I hope and I can make, I end up paying up to 650, 700 coins for those players because the prices of they did go up and I had to go up a little bit more. The next game is in League between Monaco and uh, Nice. Nice players are very, very cheap at the moment. About, as you can see, a bunch of people up 450 coins in Mendy. So this card is very, very good to pick up because he's so cheap and he does play for Nice. And as you can see, 500 coins, he, he is like the only one here. So I literally just went along with it. And you see, again, with the uh, not clicking a Zynal one, it's really annoying me. But you just want to go 500 coins and just buy now with a lot of them. Very, very cheap, very, very easy, and it can make you some some serious coins. I reckon he's probably going to go up to about 1500 if if needed, and like this game needed for the SBC. So I went up put quite a whole load, made it up to 10 players of Mendy, and then when you're doing one club, obviously you want to do another one, so you go to Monaco. And it goes to them. And then you want to go the cheapest. And like, literally, you can make tons and tons of coins. And it's very, very easy. Always listen to what I do with a marking matchup video. Because potentially you can make 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 coins, 1000 coins every single week. So the money is brilliant. Always do these investments videos. To be honest with you, I found it quite hard to, in the last couple of weeks, find which ones are going to be needed. For instance, I didn't realise um, they do games during, uh, let's say, midweek, and that's made it quite a struggle to work out which which um, comes in daily, but still, invest in these games to make tons and tons of coins. Not only, as you can see in the background, I am getting out, I am getting like cross bids. Which is pretty much where you, you're, you can see these players, but you're just not winning them. Or I'm just making a new name for it, whatever you want to call it. But 
as you can see, you're getting a couple of these Monaco players on buy now. 900 coins, easy as that. We get another couple here. That we got them between 900 coins on bid, and you can see we managed to pick those up. I did end up picking those up. We just lagged a little bit there. So we're going to go to the Chelsea bit. As you can see, we pick up and 10 Chelsea bits to end off. Uh, so that's we got Baba here, 650 coins. And then, and then we go to see if there's any on there, but we don't. Then we're going to sell coins, coins so we just pick a tent up. So I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and ring that us. And I will speak to you guys later. Anyway, I just want to tell you first that I definitely recommend you going and completing the Lega BBA SBCs. But the fact is, it gives you a better chance of when the team year comes out. As I, as you saw first uh, before in this video, I didn't get six already. I'll be getting a lot more um, off camera, probably about 20, 30 of, SP, of that SBC. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Please do like and subscribe if you're And this is the new Mark and Matt Chapman investment. Bye.